Okay, here we are looking at the first prototype of MicroTrack in Blender. If you open the file up and press A B, sorry, press B on the keyboard, select the loader arm, then press G to grab and X to slide it along the X axis. Axis, yep. Yeah. You can position it wherever you want on the on the on the MicroTrack frame to see where might be best to, to place it before going ahead with the build. Um, if you look there you can see that's the sort of furthest back it can go because the loader arm would hit the, the frame. Um, if we pull it forward a bit we've got to look at the top sh at the shaft at the top make sure that doesn't hit the frame again, the crossbars on the frame, and that's the f much further forward again, got to think about the balance of the, of, the, of, the, of the weight at the end of the loader arm, and with respect to the, to the rest of the micro track. Um, this is just a quick sketch, come out of Blender, could be changed rather quickly as well, so just looking at ideas at the moment. Any feedback is very welcome. Um, got it. It's worth considering, well, as well as the top shaft, also the scissor action, where the where a driver would be sitting. Thinking about <coughs> there, the scissor action there, when the loader arms up. Can also reference Life Track Two to get an idea of. How that would, how high that cylinder would come, which isn't too bad actually. Also, I'll look at the motors. There's only one motor on each side, and the motor's on the inside axle, on the inside shaft, so it won't be hit by the tracks. Um, this is something to think about whether it's possible to do that or not. Will there be enough power there? Uh, also, the distance between the wheels. Everything can still be changed. That's the first look here. And that's about it. Save and ciao for now.